Tonight's the night, folks. A lot of excitement going on here. Everyone's looking forward to it, and it's all singing, all dancing, Sambo Pelo Mars. <laughs> My name's Anne Day and I'm the leader of the Samba Band, musical director. Um, I've been a percussionist and drummer because um, I've taught Samba for about 20 years. But I'd never had a community band where I lived and I was very, very keen to do it. Um, so we started up uh, with me doing musical direction, writing the pieces, leading the rehearsals. And I didn't want to do just strictly uh, Brazilian pieces. Um, like a lot of samba bands in this country, we have quite a bit of reggae and funk and various other elements in the music. So we've sort of adapted the whole idea of samba really to a British context. That's more of a sort of funky track. It's not really, it's not, a, it's not in a Brazilian style, that one so much. But um, um, you could say it's got a bit of a bahia about it, but that would be a bit to be a bit poncy. But it has anyway. <laughs> okay, um, now we're going to do a batucada, uh, more of a genuine Brazilian number. Okay, right. In Brazil, there are lots of different samba schools. Um, and actually, I mean, people are very familiar with the rhythms from very early in their lives, all through their lives, and there are um, samba schools for kids, and they have a, a role within the community, really. Um, it's just got such a history in the community, these different sort of warring schools that compete against each other. But here, um, it's just brought people together in a fantastic way all ages, all kinds of people, it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. My name is Sidonio. I'm from Mozambique. In Mozambique we also dance samba as well. So now I've joined the samba band since last year, what is great. This fusion of African samba with the English samba. And that's what we call Samba Pelomar in Whitstable. My name is Julian. I'm a development consultant. I work a lot in Africa and Brazil. And I love rhythm, I love music. And participating in the samba band here in Whitstable keeps me moving and grooving, not just to the rhythm by myself, but with everybody else. And I think that's one of the most important things about it, the way people react and respond to each other and learn to hear one another, to move together, to groove together. And it's actually got infinite possibilities may seem boring because you're playing the same rhythm all the time, but there's so much to learn and the point is you're playing together. And that's something we don't normally do here, but people do elsewhere in the world. And doing something like this, you actually feel part of something bigger. And it's fun. It's a groove. It's a gas. It's fabulous. It's just great. I'm particularly interested in samba. Um, the reason I like playing samba is because it's very lively. Um, but in particular, the thing about samba is it's very much a community music and therefore everyone participates uh, regardless of their musical experience um, but also it's a, it's, a, it's a music of it's a music of being on the street it's a music of protest it's a music of celebration obviously connected with a carnival but as much as connected with defiance and protest so all those reasons plus it's good noise My name's Shirley and I just love music and rhythm 
and when I heard about the Samba Band, I thought it was the best thing to happen around here for a very long time, and it's proved to be right. It's amazingly happy making, it really is. So everybody has a wonderful time. My name's Trish and I'm a Whitstable artist and I come to Samba because I really like being part of a band and I'm a person who has actually no sense of rhythm or music. So as a non-music person it suits me down to the ground and I love it. My name's Laura and I'm a student and I like being in the Samba band because I'm pretty rubbish at music actually but it gives me the chance to join in because it's actually pretty good to play and it's easy to follow and you can get involved with everyone in the community, which is fun. That's Helen. And that's Moy. And she plays the rep. And she, she's Mama Surdo. <laughs> for me, I think it should be available on the NHS because I just trance out for a couple of hours and I can come and I can have a really grotty day and I just really, it's a great distressor. It's great fun. And it's good fun making lots of noise. Well, my name's Ted and I've been with the band ever since they started. Um, but yeah, the samba, when we hit the groove, and it's 50 people all playing some sort of percussion, percussion type thingy, it really gets you going. That's my end note. That all right with you? My name's Charlie. Um, I like Samba Palama and it's really cool. Fantastic, I enjoy it quite a lot. I'm Sue, um, I'm a support worker. And I love Samba because of the socialisation that you get from it. Um, there's a great group of people, really eclectic mix um, from the Whitstable community, it serves the community, um, and it's a real feel good factor. <laughs>